Hello everyone. So I'm back with you today sharing a nice 5x7 card made with the salutations paper from Nitwits. Now all I used on this front was just one border strip down the side. And I'll show you how I made the card front by printing that out onto the paper. And I've just decoupaged the butterfly on top. So it seems quite nice and easy. But what it is, is a surprise inside because it's actually a pop-up. And what we've got is a butterfly which opens up and moves forward as you open and close your card. So it looks complicated, but it really isn't. And if you keep watching, I'll show you exactly how this flying butterfly was made. So to start off with, we're going to make the base card. So that's all I've done here is taken some 220 GSM cardstock and I've printed down the side one of the borders straight from the kit. I haven't done anything to it, but I've just put it in Microsoft Publisher off to the right hand side and then this will allow me to make a 5x7 card blank and I won't have to do anything else to it. So I'm just going to line it up and I'm going to trim it at the edge and now I want to make it 7 inches tall. and 10 inches wide. So that's my card blank, all ready to go. All I need to do now is to score it in half. So here's the five inch mark. And you could quite simply have a card as easy as that. But I've kept the front plain because I want the inside to be the star of the show. So with this bit that was left over from making the card base, I'm going to cut this at six inches by one inch. So this is what's going to make my pop-up mechanism. So let's bring back our scoreboard and I'm going to score this at one and a half, two and a half, three, three and a half and four and a half. So that's one and a half, two and a half, three, three and a half, and four and a half. And that's the mechanism. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a valley in the middle. So now it's a V-shape towards me. And each of the other ones now I'm going to bring back on itself down to the bottom. So what I'm making is a heart shape. Okay, so we had one valley and then a mountain and a mountain. So I'm just going to take my scoring tool and just sharpen all those creases, all those folds. I'm going to put that to the side now with my card for now and we're going to decorate the inside of our card before we do our mechanism. So I've got some of the nice pink paper from the salutations kit from Nitwits. 
do it this way. And I've got a five by seven card. So I just want to make it slightly smaller. So let's open it up. So I'm going to just go back a quarter of an inch. So instead of seven, I'm going to go back to six and three quarters. And then cut off the white edge. So it's five, so I'm going to go back to four and three quarters. And this one is again four and three quarters. So we've got our two pieces to line the inside. Now you can also decorate and hide some of the mechanism. So rather than go back a quarter, I'm just going to go back an eighth this time. Can be a bit tricky. There we are. So we had some one and a half bits, didn't we, by here? So I'm going to go one and a half just back an eighth. One and a half and just gone back an eighth. And some one inch ones. So there's seven eighths and seven eighths. So this bit is up to you, you don't have to do it. So let's just take some of my distressing and let's just take the white core away. Same with our larger pieces. So this will hide any of the white core, but also it just adds a bit of a shadow to your card, so you're getting some extra depth. Bring our card blank in, make sure it's the right way up with me. And that's all we're going to do is stick these down in the centre. So you can use your double sided tape for this. I'm just doing the glue now for speed. We're just going to glue it down and the other side. And if you've cut some pieces to mat and layer the mechanism, what you're going to do is you are going to glue these larger bits on the inside of the heart. that's the bit you'll see there and you'll see that bit so we're going to stick these two here I'm not going to bother with the middle because our pop-up element will hide that it. So I'm just going to grab some strong tape here now and I'm going to grab my butterfly. So this again has been printed from the salutations kit and I've just resized it so that 
it's just under five inches wide. You don't want to be any wider than five, otherwise it's going to stick out of your card when it's folded up. Now these antennas are really fiddly, so what I do is leave a bit of extra white and I just take my distress marker and just colour in the side. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go around the outside as well. That'll just help make it pop out from the backing paper. You could use your black alcohol pens like your Pro Marker or your black Copic markers. So that's how I just hide the really dodgy uh, cutting of the antennas. I'm going to bring back my scoreboard and I'm going to take my butterfly and I'm going to line up the center of the butterfly with my last channel. So the bottom is poking in that channel and I'm just going to score him in half. And fold it down. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my butterfly to position my mechanism. So I'm going to put some tape on the back of my mechanism. So on the long bits of the outside of the heart. So on the reverse of where I put that. I'm going to take the tape off. And just for now, I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to place my butterfly where I want to put him. So I think I'll put him there. So my mechanism, I want to put there. So it's not sticking above his head or down below in the middle there. So I'm lining up the edge of my mechanism with my center fold. I'm not going on the fold, otherwise it won't shut. So I'm just coming in a tiny bit. Oh, it help if I put the sticky side down. So I bring it up to the camera. What you'll see is it's just slightly in from my score line. And I'm going to take off the tape and I'm going to bring my card to my mechanism and that way I know it's straight. So currently it's poking up so I need to push that centre down and I'm just going to start training it that way. So can you see the heart shape there? So I'm just going to train it that way. So when it opens up, you've got that valley in the middle. And you can guess where the butterfly is going to go. It's going to go inside that valley. So I'm just putting my glue in. And I'm just going to drop him into there. So let's have a look. Fold him up. And we're going to wait for him to dry there for a bit. So whilst that's drying, if you look at this border again, I actually copied and pasted it onto another page the page where I had the butterfly and all the sticky on ephemera bits. And I cropped the image, so I cropped everything else off except for this little butterfly. So that meant then I could cut this out, 
and I wasn't using much ink because I wasn't printing off everything, just a little square around there. And that's just gonna allow me, let me just take my distress ink again, the black ink, hide those white bits that I left. I'm gonna add some glue just down his body and I'm gonna glue him down So what I'll do later then, once that glue is dried, we'll just lift his wings. So we've just got a little touch of 3D on the front. So let's have a look. Has it dried? Yes. So what you'll see is the butterfly will lift and open as you open and close your card. Now your card won't open fully, but that's okay, because I think what the recipient will probably do is put it up like that, open, on the mantelpiece, on the, uh, above the fire, or on the table. It'll probably be kept open. So I'm not too worried that the car doesn't open fully. So what I've done then is taken two of these borders from the kit and I've cut them at six and three quarter inches high. Just take away the white core again. I'm just gonna use this just to hide. Now, you do want a nice wide border. If you have a narrow one, what you'll find is when you close this, the wing of the butterfly will catch beneath it. So have a nice wide border. It's also more of a statement piece as well. But you don't want it catching every time you open and close your card. So let's bring it up there and I've got one for the other side as well. And there we have it, our centre pop-up with our flying butterfly, which then just closes flat inside our card. We've got a little bit of 3D on the front. And this is why I said don't make it more than five inches wide, because as the mechanism comes forward, it's gonna push that butterfly to the edge of the card. So you can see it's coming up to, quite close to the card as it is. So that was, I think, five inches wide of the widest part. Yeah, so it's five inches wide. So of course, it doesn't have to be a butterfly. It could be a heart. We want something quite nice and symmetrical. So there we have it, a nice fun, pop-up card made using salutations papers from Nitwits, using the border, the butterfly, and another border on the outside, one of the patterned papers. And if you do have a go, please hop on over to Facebook and head to Paper Crafting with Paul and share your versions with me. We've got lots of members now making the cards and showing lots and lots of inspiration with them. So please come over and join us and we'd love to see how you interpret this card and make it your own. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.